Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Salamarle and today I'm showing you how I make my lazy brownies. So this recipe is especially good if you don't have any chocolate or like cacao powder in your home because usually you have to do a Benmer style like put the chocolate on top of a uh, hot water and they'll try to melt it and add like the beating etc. You don't have to do any of that, you only need Nutella. So the ingredients are half a cup of unsalted butter, it's approximately 5 tablespoons, so, which is also 72 grams. I also use like a normal butter, it was not unsalted, but I mean, as taste wise, not really matters, so yeah. 5 tablespoons of unsalted water, uh, butter, um, half a cup of sugar, two large eggs, the, lar the eggs should be at room temperature, that's important, uh, two tablespoons of uh, vanilla extract or just like one package of vanilla uh, sugar, uh, one and 1.4 cups of Nutella, a little bit of salt and a little bit less than a cup of all-purpose flour. So my butter was not at the room temperature because I forgot to put it up, uh, so I microwaved it a little bit. But the important part is since it's putting eggs in it, you shouldn't be making the but, uh, butter really hot, uh, hot. So you know, just a little bit, it, can, it doesn't have to be melt like completely. If it has to melt completely, you have to make sure that the but, uh, butter is not hot enough for eggs to start cooking inside after adding it. So I'm here mixing the vanilla with uh, sugar and the butter all together and then I'm adding my eggs. So yeah, you just have to mix it all up, add your Nutella and add your flour and it is all perfect. I um, put some oil on my baking pan, I guess, <laughs> baking cup, baking stuff. So I make sure that nothing sticks on the bottom, but it's really good like even though that's ceramic like nothing sticks on it Like that brownie after it's cooked it was like perfect. I just take the slide out and then there was nothing sticking at the bottom So it's pretty good. The only thing is like you don't add Sometimes like I don't have butter and I use like a normal vegetable oil in this as well. It turns out still fine uh, but you know, I think with the butter it's better consistency. Also after I edit everything, I will link the recipe down below by the way, you don't have to just like frantically write it down, it's all good. I will write the recipe down below. The only thing is like after I put the flour, like a little less than a, a cup of flour, I realized that the consistency is a little bit too thick for my taste. I don't want my brown to be that, that thick. So what I do is that I added some water, but you can also add some milk at the end, you know, just to make it a little less, you know, sticky, I guess. So yeah, basically you put it all in. I put this in the oven uh, in 180 degrees for half an hour. But the thing is, my oven is not that... Um, strong I would say so you have to cook stuff a little bit longer but usually for this kind of recipe you don't you need only like 15 to 20 minutes so yeah I mix everything up and basically after putting the flour it is it it is so delicious and when it's like baking the entire house smells like brownies and it's like the best thing ever <laughs> literally I'm a little clumsy, but you know, I wiped that countertop many, many times before I started baking the stuff, so yeah, it is all good. So in here, I realized that it needs a little bit of liquid inside, just to make sure that everything is not very heavy. So I lighten the consistency up with a little bit of water, but as I said, you can just use milk or even some cream. That would be also nice, you know, with like a high fat consistency. We're not trying to make like a light, like diet brownie anyway. <laughs> it's just a very easy version of it. So yeah, I poured the batter in my pre-oiled baking thingy. And then I put it in the oven 
for half an hour. But as I said, just use a toothpick after like 20, 20, 20 minutes. Like you can just stick a little toothpick, and if it's like coming all empty, empty, all clean, that means that it's brownie is cooked, you know. So there we are, guys. It looks fabulous. It looks so good. And I do my toothpick test for the last time, and it's all clean, so it's all cooked. So thank you so much for watching, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time, bye bye!